Caribbean. Good job, bud. Hey, how's it going? A little sewage. Making it better than it was, probably. I don't know. Well, uh, the, what happened was the airlines um, stole my raincoat and ripped my bag, and so I was a little upset. But some little. That's the symbol for sewing, and the guy hooked me up with a needle and thread. Cool. This just goes to show that a bag's always willing to live if you let it. That's right. You see, to put some uh, some love and care into it, mm -hmm. and I think this is a perfect example of how we can all do that. Thank you, Sean. Anytime. Myself, Anytime. I'm trying to give some love and care to this T-shirt. I figured I wore it enough times without washing it. And <laughs> if you get a patch, I'll sew it on for you for ten pesos. I think you need a Lucha Libre patch on your bag. That'd be cool. Yeah. So guys, we're in our possibly last place. Possibly last place. Yeah, so well equipped for backpackers. As you can see, we're washing our clothes in the sink. And there's ample shelf space to organize one's things. Uh, ample drying space for one's uh, washed goods. And first and foremost, oh yeah, yeah, air conditioning. Forgot about that. But also, pretty cool spot next to the beach. The carrot. So there you go. You never worry, never even feel a fright Bet you got it all planned right Never think to worry, never even feel a fright Single sleeps alone Wait, it's no chance Oh, we stole the guy's chair Not much, just um, join the, this fine cigar that Andrew bought. Thank you, Andrew. Hey, I'm Casey, there's you. 30 years. Right there? Yeah. Oh, wait, which one? That's me at 30 years. Keep what up? <laughs> Casey, I was with you when you smoked your first cigar. You were. <laughs> Let me tell you about the story. We were in San Diego. And we didn't have a place to stay. But we decided there was so much cool stuff to do, like bars and restaurants and whatnot, that we would figure that out later. So we went out, did some bars. We found out that there was this one cigar bar, and that was the last night that we were going to be open. Because the next day, it was getting turned over to the city of San Diego to be demolished. Eminent domain. For eminent domain. And they were just going to like sell it to a developer, basically. So, anyways, at this place, Casey smoked his first cigar, and he didn't just, like, smoke his first cigar, he, like, inhaled the entire thing, and I remember he was, like, nauseous for, like, two hours afterwards, and he threw up, actually, when we were driving to the campsite. I didn't, throw, I didn't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds better. I didn't, I didn't throw up. I felt really high, but I didn't throw up. Anyways, 
Anyways, what do you it's think? Basically, my word against Casey's word. We can ask Sean. I'd rather talk about Playa del Carmen. Okay. This place is nuts. I have an it's its own entity. I tried to compare it to places I've been. Like Broad Street in Richmond? To that, to Bourbon Street. It's kind of like First Fridays at the Beach, right? A little bit. It's kind of, it's kind of like a mall in Mexico, in the U.S., and Europe, Dubai, plus Bourbon Street, plus South Beach. Plus my pet. Yeah. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. No. There's people. There's a ton of people. Swanky places to go. I think it's its own, its own thing. This is the new thing to compare against other things. Yeah. I mean, This place is like a And it's just gonna keep on growing. It's exploding. Invest like, now, guys. It is the fastest growing city in the world. We met that cool guy. Down there, Chaco Coffee. The guy from uh, Flagstaff. Yeah, he's cool. Restaurant. It's a restaurant tour. Future. He has a little bit of a situation where he's going to purchase his own restaurant here. From capital he's gained off his house. It's going to be that place, some chocolate coffee. Right. No, it's going to be something fancy. He's going to work for the fancy guy down the street. How do you guys hold your cigar? I'm, like, I want to. I'm kinda like the pencil full fisted. Full fisted. Cave, caveman style. Caveman style? Like this. this is how I hold my cigar. And when and when the butt gets to my fingers, I don't change it. <laughs> That's like as if you just invented I like discover fire. I like the two finger method. The dark the dark way? I look when I when I inhale, but then I turn to three fingers. Where's the bottle of wine? Shut up. It was a good purchase.